Welcome everyone to a short video on self-reflection. Sometimes we've got so many things going on in our lives. Things happen, some may be bad or just unexpected. Sometimes we tell ourselves, hey, it's not my fault, it's somebody else's fault or something happened. Whatever it might be, and sometimes it may be actual or an legitimate issue, but sometimes there's also the issue of maybe it's not everybody else's fault and that's where the self-reflection comes in. When was the last time you did a self-reflection? By self-reflection, we're looking at yourself like you are a business. And how do you operate? How do you reform? Do you start on time? Do you finish on time? Do you get things done? We're talking about everything you do in your personal or professional life. And if you happen to be a college student, whatever the case is, what are you doing in that respect? And do you conduct a self-reflection? Self-examination might be another way to call it. An evaluation of where you are and where you are going. Sometimes people are heading down this road and they get to the end of it and it's devastating. Bad things happen and how do you stop yourself from getting there? It's not always somebody else's fault and sometimes it's just people don't realize that they are doing something or did something wrong and whether somebody has to step in and tell you, guide you, and steer you in the right direction. Or maybe you could be the person that steps in and tells somebody, or you notice somebody who really needs help. You intervene, or whatever you could call it, or you make an observation, whatever the case is. But where are you going? Reflect and evaluate how you perform your daily life. This is family, work, school, outside, and other things you do, like hobbies, or if you're a soccer parent, whatever the case is. You've got to look at how you're doing things. Are you getting things done? And are you getting things done efficiently? Or are you just flying by or getting by? It's important that you understand why things don't go the way you want them to. Why isn't everything going right? Sometimes there's a legitimate reason, but other times there's not a good reason for not finishing something. That's why it is worth evaluating, looking at yourself, why are things not going the way you want them to go? If you have bad habits, why don't you change them? A lot of people have time management issues and they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, and it doesn't change anything. That's when you have to stand up and recognize that you're doing something wrong and whatever it is, you got to figure that out and stop it. Change the way you do things and think about what excuses you tell yourself. Sometimes there's legitimate reasons, but other times you're just making excuses and you got to make a change. If you're a student, you have to find and manage your time, the 10 or more hours a week to apply yourself to your studies. The 10 hours a week is not an option. It's part of your week, just like work is part of your week. It's part of your week and you have to stop making excuses and manage your time. Reflect, evaluate, Stop the excuses and bad habits. Reflect on who you are and who you want to be. Envision it and do it. Stop procrastinating and wasting your time. The only time you're really wasting is your own.